Good morning everyone, guess what today is? It's my 23rd birthday. 23? That's nearly a quarter of a century that I have lived for. Wow, who would have thought it? Anyway, today's my birthday. I just really think it'd be a nice memory to look back upon even if we are kind of in isolation, kind of not in isolation. Who even knows what's happening in the world anymore? Do you know what I mean? It's just a roller coaster of a ride. But birthday vibes, let the fun roll. I have just woken up, I woke up, well actually, classic me, I woke up at five I think because I was too excited. Um, well I wasn't actually excited but I was just like, birthday, yay. And then I was like, no Grace, you're gonna be really, I cry basically every year for birthday and Christmas because all my emotions, just I just get a bit overwhelmed, you know? Um, so it's like, if I'm tired, there's more chance of me crying. So I tried to sleep and I did I managed to sleep until 6 40 so a whole extra hour and 40 minutes and now I feel much more awake and ready for the day I'm trying to work out what to wear today I don't know what the vibe is it's a bit cloudy outside anyway dressing gown is on let's go and wake up mom and dad well I think they're already awake okay so apparently everything's set up in the kitchen which is rogue because normally we do it in the bedroom we do presents on mum and dad's bed um so i'm gonna have a shower first so i'm fresh clean ready for the day and i'll see you this is so fun i don't know what's going on in the kitchen they won't let me in and they didn't let me in last night either they said i couldn't and they like shut the doors off i love surprises but i hate them at the same time i like surprises when i know that the people that are there do you know what i mean i can't i can't explain it i can't get my earrings in also i put, I put sun cream on and it's really shiny but then it settles in, so don't mind that. Let's go, guys. No! Oh, wait, we're waiting for dad, apparently. It's really exciting. I've never been amped up for a birthday this much. What is going on? Have they got a puppy? I'm joking, I know for sure they don't have a puppy because um, they would disown me if I got a puppy. And that's not what you want for your birthday. I have my birthday socks on. If you know where this is from, you're my lobster. Heads up, I'm really annoying and squeaky here, but birthday surprises, how does anyone act cool and non-squeaky for a birthday surprise? Sorry, you're just an anomaly of a human if you don't squeak at a surprise. <gasps> oh my, oh my word! My word! Oh. When did that get there? How exciting! When did that come? So Thank you so much. Look at all of this. Oh, a birthday hat. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, a real life birthday platter from Nikki Tiderman. Oh, yeah. These are the prep things that you love. Oh, stop. So there's more kind of... bagels. There's salmon underneath. There's the honey there. There's, there's little pots of dairy this. Dairy free cream cheese. And dairy free f yogurt. Oh, just... that's so kind. That's so nice. Look at all this stuff. That's so cool. Where did you go? There's glitter on the melon. <gasps> stop. There's glitter on the melon. I put in this card and didn't even get an ounce of confetti out of the card. How? I'm a pro. I thought I'd show you the actual decorations. We've got the presents. We've got the 23 party hat and my new jumper and my new slippers. I love them. Woo! Having a good time. Okay, and we're actually, I'm actually filming a video this morning because the grind never stops, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm probably going to be at MIA <laughs> this morning, but then we can show you the birthday plans the rest of the day. I've had a lovely morning. That platter was made by our friend. I actually need to see if her shops, uh, like her Instagram's up and running because she does platters for delivery. Um, so my mum got one for me and it was absolutely delicious and obviously dairy free and everything. They even put the prep croissants on there. Stop that naughty. The donut better than the drink. We have secured the bag. Hotel chocolate. So I just got back from town. That video is going to be going up on the main channel. And um, it's a real fun one. Hey, it's only three. Where we saw how much free stuff we could get. Basically, my birthday. I feel like I could have used and abused the birthday a bit more. But I don't like going into stores and asking for things. Because I feel like that's just, it's just not on, you know. 
So um, it was just all ones we found on the apps. I just got back to a present from the, our friends. And first of all, amazing, where's the sloth? Like where's Wooly, but with sloths. Incredible. Kinetic sand! Whenever I babysit, I am obsessed with the kinetic sand. It is the most therapeutic thing you could ever play with. We're about to have lunch, but I kind of want to, uh, I want to play with it now. Oh my gosh, it's got tools to play with. I can be one of those ASMR people that like cut it and stuff. <gasps> the sand castle. The birthday lunch of dreams. My favorite thing, stuffed mushrooms. I love them so much. I don't have the cheese on it, but I still absolutely love it. My ASMR kinetic sand. Here we have my kinetic sand. Look, you have it like a rock, and then. Oh, that was a bit violent, wasn't it, Kai? And then. Dad. We're going on a walk. Um, we we're about to go on a walk. We've got to get in the car. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Seriously, getting in the car to go? Yeah. Also, we just tried these from Tiger. Incredible. And we've also been playing with the kinetic sand for maybe a bit too long for someone of my age. Maybe an hour. Have we been playing with that for an hour? Props. Hello, so it's been a lovely afternoon. We went on a walk. Picture this, right? What are the odds that we go on a walk the day that this miniature long-haired dash hound goes on one of its first ever walks? We all know that that's my dream dog. And there he is, so cute, so small, so small. S-O-S-M, hmm, S-M-O-L, not S-M-A-A-L-L. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but we just picked our Wagamama. We found one that's actually 20 minutes away drive from us because I always thought it was like 35 minutes. I thought they were ages away. But I suppose 20 minutes is still quite long. But it's my birthday, so anything goes. It is a limited menu, so I can't get any Tori Kariage. I can still get Yaki Soba. I am so ready and so excited. <laughs> I'm now having to do my first ever bouquet. I've never ever done a bouquet before. Um, I've received one bunch of flowers in my life. And so this is, well that was when I was literally, I think my sister got it for me when I was 18 or something. So this is quite uh, monumentous for me. But we are here to learn, you know. I think mum said there's a booklet here. This is like one of the only vases we have. So I'm just gonna, that'll do donkey, that'll do. Trim your stems. I have to cut every single one. Oh my gosh, I feel like such a grown up getting this. I really am 23 now. Let's put some food in, keep them nourished. And This is like a full on tree that I'm cutting. I feel like I, I can't cut that one. That's uncuttable. Oh, I somehow need to cut that guy. That one's too big. Oh! This one's a really thick boy. So you do it with scissors, don't you? Yeah, I know, but this one won't go through with the scissors. Would you like me to cut it? Mum, I'm being serious. It look. Does it need to be a bit shorter? Is it awful? Is that awful? I think that's quite good. Great concept. Right, I'm gonna go and ask the gang what they think. What's that? Here we go. My my goyosa. That's a freebie. Oh. oh, look at the size. Woohoo! I need to get into this. Day. and I had such such a wonderful birthday with my family it was literally like for me as long as everyone's happy and we're all together 
it makes my heart very well very happy um i've had a cracking day honestly wonderful day also this new blanket that i got is massive first of all it's king size and it's the snuggliest thing ever highly highly recommend yeah i am wearing the same jumper as yesterday but i have a different t-shirt on so don't come for me okay well to be honest even if i did who cares and i am about to make breakfast for everybody because we have obviously some of the stuff left over from the platter and mum and dad have gone on a on a 5k run even though the rain is not it's good job i didn't have rain for my birthday yesterday although how weird is this right this girl from school who was so lovely and in my sociology class don't know why i gave you that bit of information she was called i think her name was grace ann i'm not gonna say her last name just for privacy reasons she was Grace Anne and she was born the 25th of July and I'm Grace Anna and I'm born the 24th of July. I thought we were separated at birth, honestly. So I do have some sad news. First of all, does anyone remember the cup that I bought in that Amazon video? There was a cup that I got that was like double walled, insulated. Yesterday, Jessie, Jessie smashed it by accident, but it's okay. It was by accident and it's just a cup and no one was hurt. Second of all, does anyone know about my starter? Yeah, basically my starter that I love and is like the perfect starter. Um, also got ruined yesterday, but I've tried to save it. So potentially it's not all gone to poop. But here it is, she's right here. And we're praying and hoping that it's gonna work. <laughs> Cause I, I don't wanna go through the process of making one again, but also, I want it to be mine. I don't want to have to get my sour starter from anyone. And I'm gonna lay some brekkie. I've tried to make it enough for like a second breakfast. So we have some of the bagels. We have some muesli, some uh, pancakes. This, which I got, um, which is in the other video, chocolate and nuts bread from Hotel Chocolat. Some honey, some of the yogurt pots, some dairy-free cream cheese, melon, banana, berries. And we've got the croissant in the oven. There's just one left. And a tiny bit of smoked salmon. So I've tried to stretch it to see if it would constitute another brekkie, which I think I've done the job of. Um, so making a tea for dads, let me tell you, I've learned a few things in my tea making years. She's so sweet, this girl. Who? You. Me? Yeah. Why? Set up the table like that. I like breakfast. It's so sweet. Yeah, so one key thing with the tea cone. Yeah. Don't squeeze the bag. No, never. Never squeeze the bag. You don't want to squeeze the bag. Because it makes how high wasted these leggings are, sorry, sad night. Makes it bitter. bitter. Did you get that from my video with Donna? No. Oh. Did I tell you that? Then? No, I learnt it. Well, actually, I learnt it from Fleur de Force, from Mike de Force, mate. Wait, is that what he was called? Yeah, they yeah. called him Mike de Force. Mike de Force. Um, and yeah, made her a tea, I think. He was giving her a lesson. Yeah. And said, never squeeze the tea out. You've got to leave it to just do its thing. Yeah, I love it. That's when it's really good. Yeah, I love that. Is that what you do? Yeah. No, you I squeeze. Think. I'm definitely seeing you squeeze. No, I don't have that squeeze. She has seen a squeezer in her years. I'm so ready for breakfast. I love bagels. The thing is, if people don't want their tea bags in their tea, then they're not gonna be happy. You don't have to leave it in there, you just lob it out. Yeah, but then you don't get all the goodness of the strength. Yeah, that's why you leave it in there. You've gotta let it just like mellow. It's yellow, mellow, mellow, mellow. If it's brown, wash it down. Yeah. Thing is though, I've been to someone's house once who was a mellow yellower and the bathroom stank of wee. It's disgusting, so I just... You flush it if it's yellow. <laughs> I missed a flusher. Also, things different for girls, because we have toilet roll involved. Do they use toilet just... roll? No, they just dangle it. Shut up. No, that's real. <laughs> no, it's not. I swear. Why would you do that? <laughs> no, it's the kids. It's so funny, every time I drive when it is raining, Dad always tells me to take it safe. Like, there is not a time when it's not raining, Dad's like, be careful, roads are slippy. Oh, you're moving. Um, Just a moment. What? What the heck? Also, I feel like I need to listen. Still trying. What are you trying? 
I need to get some fuel. I hate getting fuel, but it's a necessity. I'm always like, on oh, drive, you know what I'm saying? Going to see my friend now. And then, I think I'm going to see my friend and we're going to do some making sushi making. I think that's potentially the plan. But I actually don't know if I'm in a sushi mood right now. But maybe by lunchtime I will. So, we'll see. <laughs> And that was the end of the birthday vlog. I had such a wonderful birthday and I have a really, really exciting video coming that literally, when I tell you, it's been in my brain for a very long time and I I just had so much fun making it. So subscribe if you want to see that. Love you all loads. Hope you enjoyed the chill vlog.